Hey, what's up guys, Scott Vivi here, and welcome to this Inform Fabio Cohen trial review. As you can see, he is now a left mid Inform, sadly, not a centre mid. I was hoping the Inform was going to be a centre mid card, but hey ho, what can you do? It's a nice position change, nevertheless, from left back to left mid. Paid 30k for the guy, which is his max price range on both consoles, and in six games, he scored once and got seven assists, which isn't overall a bad record, but I do have to say, I do feel that some of the assists were kind of forced, and you'll see that when we get into the clips. I was abusing the low cross quite a bit, because it was working, so obviously, I wasn't going to change it up, so if you do want to abuse him to the best of his ability, get down the wing and low cross it. The fact that he's left footed on the left side makes him uh, pretty damn good for crossing. His strength is the only lacking physical stat, and his strength, to be honest, wasn't that bad. As you can see, it's nearly 70, so it's almost a green stat, so not too bad at all with the physical attributes. Into the skill ones, 85 curve, 84 crossings, good to see. Finishing of 66, now that actually surprised me, because his finishing, although I didn't score many goals, didn't seem too bad. Like, most of his shots were on target, which was uh, fairly pleasing, but 66 finishing, I believe that's what Barbo's original card have, so uh, yeah. Maybe take some thought to think about that. But also, I did have some people tweeting me pictures of their inform cone trial with him at left wing and left forward. And they'd scored quite a few goals. So uh, maybe he's a lot better at left wing, left forward, and he gets more chances to shoot. But um, obviously, I was using him left mid, so he didn't really get that many chances. But uh, he did make some good runs. And I do have to say, one minute his dribbling's awesome. The next, it's horrific. He'd taken dodgy touches. It, it, dribbling overall, very inconsistent, which is a bit annoying because I did feel that his dribbling at times really, really did slow him down and uh, hold him back. If you want someone, if you want to pick up this guy, honestly, he's probably best in a 3-5-2 formation. So if you can handle um, a three-back formation, then maybe try him out in that. Because obviously with his defensive attributes and his attacking attributes, he'd be a pretty solid left mid in a three-back formation. However, overall, for other La Liga sides, I'd probably go with someone like Griezmann, Ronaldo if you're mega rich. But um, yeah, ma mainly Griezmann or someone else at left mid because there are a lot better players who are faster, quicker, better shooting, better crossing and all that stuff for attacking play. But if you need a defensive player, then Cohen Chow can do a job. But um, his positioning going forward can sometimes really let him down because he will sit in that midfield spot. Medium, medium work rates, he does sit. He, he goes by that and definitely sits in midfield, which um, obviously is a bit annoying when I'm trying to get clips with him. But uh, hey-ho, what can you do? Scores are actually a really nice goal here. Keeper the head, just couldn't handle it. And a uh, very nice finish from Cohen Trout. So overall, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. He's a pretty average player who is uh, he's capable of a few good things. But as I said, I did feel that most of uh, his assists were kind of forced with like, abusing the uh, triple tap cross. Anyway... Overall, positives. He's well-rounded. His passing's decent, especially for um, what is normally a defender. His tackling, obviously, is pretty good defensively on the left side. The fact his position change in form is good. He has decent crossing too, but uh, negatively, two-star weak foot, he is a pretty one-footed player. His dribbling can be inconsistent, which is a bit frustrating, and his positioning, he will pretty much just sit, which is understandable with the medium-medium work rates. But when you got a winger, you want him to get in forward at times, and Kuntrao, you kind of have to force him up the field, which is a bit annoying. And there are a lot better La Liga alternatives to um, put in the left mid-spot. But anyway, guys, overall, Kuntrao, a 7 out of 10. Not a bad player, but uh, just nothing to stand out, and uh, overall, pretty average. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this review, remember to leave a like, comment below who We'd like to review next. Have a good day. Adios. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gamvi here, and welcome to the second inform Danny Welbeck review. Now, the first thing about this inform, it is a position change, which is awesome. All these cards previously are a striker card, but this inform is a left wing, which is pretty nice because Arsenal in this game don't have any fast 